Hello and welcome back to Bourbon Barrel Talk. Today's episode of Bourbon Barrel Talk is brought to you by Signature Painting and Coatings. They specialize in residential and small commercial painting. Owner, Jeff Ostrader, has been serving Louisville and Southern Indiana families for over 35 years. There is no job too small. For your no-cost obligation estimate, please contact Jeff at 502-494-0595. Signature Painting and Coatings. Hire a professional, not a painter. And we're back in the Brock Bourbon Bar, and we are doing Craft Cocktails episode number two. Yes. Bring it on. And we got Johnny Tsunami. Hey. Barbara. Howdy, howdy. And That's Nick. so funny. I've That's made so funny, my triumphant Scott. return. I, I, I'm trying to always decide whether I'm just going to call her Babs from now on or if I'm going to call her Barbara. You you call me whatever. Actually, one of her things was uh, Bugs. Bugs. Bugs is another yeah. nickname of yeah. mine. So, I just <laughs> Bugs and Hugs. Yep, there we go. So we've got two more cocktails. Yep. And this is episode two of Craft Cocktails with Barbara. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, that's not bad. Craft Cocktails with Barbara. That's what I'm going to call it now. There you so go. I, just, I, like I, that. I literally <laughs> just made this shit up right yes, off the cuff. <laughs> it works. It, it sounds work. classy. Yeah. I don't know about uh, classy, but it well, sounds like something. Yeah, no. It Barbara's works. never classy. We have to vote on it first. <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah, you, you, never mind. You can get a vote. No. Anyway, we Damn. got two cocktails we're going to try today. Barbara, yes. do, I'm going to let you walk through, walk us through these bad boys. This is going to be okay. a quick hitter. We're going to review them, and we're going to pick mm-hmm. a favorite. So, How about we just do the recipe for one, try it, and then we'll go to the recipe for the second one. I don't want to know what the recipe is to okay, try fine. how about we do uh i'll give you the name the first, of the first one, one yeah what's the name first one is called a kentucky rhubarb kentucky rhubarb rhubarb so so instantly i automatically think they're supposed to be strawberry in this because strawberry yeah. and rhubarb go together but 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 I, i'm and, it, and and it's pink by the way so <laughs> uh, but it's, rhubarb it's kind of like with all reddish. fairness is pink too so yeah reddish you're right reddish pink whatever i'm i'm, I'm, I'm sniffing I'm picking up that watermelon pucker instantly. It's, I can smell it. it, it, it yeah. Yep, smell it, taste it. Yep. yep. Yeah, I'm about to say the watermelon's coming a little bit, a little bit stronger. Little I don't stronger. know how it's coming in stronger. This is like a Harry Style song. I'm getting some watermelon sugar. Watermelon high. sugar. High. <laughs> so you're doing the watermelon crawl. Bring it on. There That's what go. I watermelon was thinking. Crawl? Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. Don't, 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 don't crawl. Do, do the watermelon, watermelon crawl. crawl. <laughs> you sang that song. Uh, oh, Dwight Yoakam. Yep. Dwight Yoakam. Yep, really? Yep, yep, yep. No, yeah. it wasn't. Really? Was it Dwight Mo- No way. There's no way that was Dwight Yoakam. Yeah. Did no, anybody else? Dwight have to Yoakam do... did not make that cool of a song. There's no way. Uh, uh, I'm pretty Carl, sure it was. Carl Google. Watermelon Crawl. Did anyone else have to do? It wasn't that? Kenny Chesney, but it was somebody like Kenny Chesney. No. This is, this, this, watermelon I, Crawl came out like night. Tracy oh, Bird. Tracy Bird. Okay. There we go. See, because that was somebody from early nineties. I'm just saying. Came out. I knew that was way too cool to be a to be <laughs> to, to be a Dwight, Dwight Yoakam <laughs> song. No offense. I knew better than that one. You weren't catfishing my we ass had, tonight on that one. We had line dance days at gym class in seventh and eighth grade junior high, where we had to do the watermelon crawl. Damn, Providence man, they're bringing it strong. <laughs> that was Holy Family, baby. Whatever. Whoa. Same difference. <laughs> Still had right? to pay. Catholic schoolboy. <laughs> Nobody knows. Anyway, all right. So definitely, definitely the watermelons like right in the nose. I, I'm gonna have to dive in on the taste here. I'm, gonna, I, I'm, I, I'm going I, for I told, pull number I, two. I warned you that this another one that I was gonna pull for y'all had that watermelon in it. I, I I know there's bourbon in there, but I just don't taste any of it. I get that wa- the just watermelon, watermelon just overpowers. It does. Yeah, I don't know what it is about now, the watermelon. Now, Ironically I, enough, there's two and a half ounces. Oh well, that's <laughs> no, why it's that's yeah, why it's it overpowering. Yes. Wow. <laughs> well, it's technically an ounce and a half of bourbon, and then an, an ounce of uh, Canadian whiskey. Good lord! Right here, here they are. Good lord! That's, that's a lot of there. alcohol in there, man. But uh, for some reason, I don't think there's enough. Um, raspberry, because I think that raspberry okay. um, watermelon combination kind of gave it that rhubarb. Okay, well, I did taste the exact same as I did the last time. Okay, yep. I don't know. I'm getting yeah, but this time I'm getting w- way more watermelon. It's, it's very refreshing. It's definitely weird. It is refreshing, um, and I would drink a lot of it quickly, <laughs> considering you can't taste the alcohol. Because <laughs> you can't taste the alcohol. At all. Kofi, did you try this one, Kofi? Oh my god! This is crazy. <laughs> that was wow. the most gentle. I did. I did. He's like, <laughs> what, what? I, I did. I did. I did. I did it. The, 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 the pinky was up. That's right. Pinky's work. He's got this um, big old crazy, man. crazy grin. Yeah, Barbara, yeah. I, I, I love you, but I do not love this cocktail. 
It is. It is. Is a, It's. It's got a funky like something in my stomach going on already. All right. It's way too sweet. Got some weird stuff going on. Well, as I said, I, I don't. I don't either a couple things happened. Either not enough raspberry bitters because I mean I didn't re- do raspberry bitters. It's raspberry bugger. Right. Okay. So what is the actual recipe? <laughs> the actual Let's read recipe it. is a. Um, quarter ounce of watermelon pucker, quarter ounce of raspberry pucker, two to three ish dashes of cranberry bitters, um, an ounce we did the um, crown royal apple, and then an ounce and a half of I put bourbon of your choice. This time we did the granddad 114, and then you just topped this sucker off with ginger ale. So either the cranberry or the raspberry didn't really cu- come through and cut as much because I think the combination of the mm-hmm. raspberry, cranberry, and watermelon, because right. it, it, it was not as sweet. No, it wasn't we as last, sweet. Yeah. I don't know what the heck I happened. I think the watermelon just takes over. Yeah, the watermelon yeah, just takes over. If, if you left the watermelon out, I would be curious to see how that ounce would go. A quarter ounce? No, I did a quarter ounce. She it's just one of those that like permeates long. everything. <laughs> 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 All right. So, so what, what's this one called, Barb? A brew, rhubarb something? Kentucky rhubarb. Kentucky rhubarb. Kentucky rhubarb. Boy, Nick, say, you dug deep for that one, didn't you, man? Well, whenever I tasted it, actually, the originally when I tasted it, it tastes like rhubarb. <laughs> I have like two other people actually yeah. agree huh. with me. Huh? They're like, boom, but, rhubarb. But the combination of this, I, I would almost rename this one to the watermelon crawl. Yeah. <laughs> You're not lying. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, if you drank too many of these, you would be crawling, and it's definitely watermelon. Because this thing is strong. There's no doubt about it. This got some alcohol in it. Yeah, I, so. I, I could see how you get more of the rhubarb on the nose than you do. Like I don't get a lot of the watermelon on the nose. It's mostly in the palate. It's much um, more sweeter than than what yeah. I tried before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we'll we'll have to tweak it a little bit more and try to figure that, out where, that, which went what to it. That'd do some damage though. There's no doubt that's a watermelon <laughs> crawl for sure. <laughs> Shit. All right. <laughs> All right, th- this next one, I assume this is a this is a Travis Barnes special. We're, this is we're, a Travis Barnes yep. special. This so we're one send I send this one to Hotel Tango. Yes, yep. I, this, this is one hundred percent Hotel Tango. So this looks like it's got chocolate milk in it. <laughs> well, it, it it looks like it, but it doesn't. <laughs> it's got chocolate liqueur, people. That's fine. Right, listen, I'll take it. I'm just but, saying, um, it looks like chocolate milk, man. You're this, supposed to save that for last. <laughs> <laughs> listen, come on, dog. Have you met John? That motherfucker's not going to wait a, a second to eat a marshmallow. I am not patient at all. <laughs> Give me that marshmallow, baby. <laughs> He's got zero patience. <coughs> so this one is called a bourbon s'more. Um, as we had said earlier, it does have the Hotel Tango. It's got the smart... Uh, smellow. Sh- smellow. And Schmattel. Schmattel. And I can't see the bottle. It's the ready to drink oh, series. Yeah. Thank you. It's, it's, so it's the, the uh, Bourbon Reserve. Yep. Bourbon Reserve. And it's 90 proof. <laughs> Johnny like. <laughs> so, um, and we topped this one. So, it, like I said, it's got a half ounce of chocolate liqueur, uh, one ounce of the Schmello Hotel Tango. We did the one ounce of the Hotel Tango ready to... The Bourbon Reserve. Bourbon Reserve. Thank you. They're all say ready to drink, by the way, Barbara. Okay. I didn't know. I'm sorry. And then we literally top it with a toasted marshmallow. Yep. All right, man. I, 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 I took just a nibble on my marshmallow. That's fine. The nose is very... It's not very alcoholic. It's very, 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 um, very chocolate forward. It's got some uh, nice little notes. I don't get any graham cracker like like I would like. I was hoping maybe to get a little like that on the nose, but it's it's definitely got some marshmallow. It's got some chocolate, so I definitely get the sh- the schmar effect. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive in and get a pull. What do, what do you got, Nick? Oh, uh, this is a very. I think there's a little bit hint of extra chocolate in there uh, from the pull, um, but you just, you get the marshmallow coming through. Uh, and it's a toasted marshmallow, plus having the toasted marshmallow on top and kind of mixing it and stirring it with that marshmallow mm-hmm. really kind of gets that kind of toasty, charry flavor that goes into it, like like those campfire marshmallows. I'm not sure this is a summer cocktail, but this is definitely a liquid panty oh. dropper, dude. Like, yeah, I'm going to tell you what, you give this to the ladies and like, mm, panties are dropping. Well, we're thinking this is kind of like a, like a fall, winter, yeah, definitely Yeah, this is definitely drink. a fall drink. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh yeah, around the campfire. This mm-hmm. would be something that would definitely be good. Well, that's a panty drop on you. Is right there, Scott. Oh, dude, yeah. The, the toasted marshmallows where it's at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But that being said, I mean, this is good though. I no. really like this barber. <laughs> no, this is yeah. As I said, I, th- this is one of those things of uh, from that hotel tango interview that we did, and I kind of talked talked to myself through this making this mm-hmm. cocktail in my head, and I wanted to go ahead and see if I can put put something into action. Yeah. I do so, feel so, like the chocolate does come through on the nose a yeah. lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I enjoy that. Yeah. yeah. So, so I didn't put a whole lot of that. So what's and the that's mix? The crazy, it's um, 
I already went over it. It's a half ounce of chocolate liqueur. Okay. An ounce of the schmello, sh- and then an ounce of the bourbon, and then top with a tos- toasted marshmallow. Damn. Oh, a little bit, a little high bit. alcohol content. Like a little bit of ice, and then uh, the marshmallow. A little bit of ice and the marshmallow. Three ingredient, high yeah. alcohol three, content. Three ingredient, all plus alcohol. The, plus there's the no, marshmallow. There's no sweetener. There's no, no simple. There's no nothing. I mean, no. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, your, your sweetness is going to come from the schmello and from the chocolate liqueur. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Man, that's I'll a that's what. a campfire. Let's get your panties going on. Yeah, yep. not for sure. I mean, because it doesn't taste like alcohol. I mean, it just <laughs> man. I be I I I be honest with you. If maybe you added just a touch of like some kind of like simple, like just even just to top it, just a hair more on the sweetness, man. I'm gonna tell you right, like like it would kill. Like I mean, like women would like like. Bleh. We tried that. Oh, you did and try it was some too simple. Much. Too much. It got a little too sweet. Gotcha. It was um, too sweet. We sampled with a couple other things. Uh, I will say one good substitute for the bourbon that mm-hmm. worked out really well. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna like it, but the Elijah Craig toasted. Yep. Oh. Yeah, it came out really well. It, oh, it, it was. It, that's where the gram kind of came in a little bit extra. Yeah, totally. As long as you didn't say Basil Hayden, we're all good. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! <laughs> <laughs> we have standards on this podcast, please. <laughs> Everything please. except for the smell was more please. than eighty percent. Yeah, I do, I do not do Basil Hayden. So no, I I, I really like his environment. <laughs> Carl just dropped his <laughs> off. Nope, me. he's just noping. <laughs> that's okay. To each their own. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, so All we right. definitely have we have a, a summertime drink, and then we have the fall winter drink. Yeah, we're we're gonna call that a summer drink. <laughs> <laughs> the water, the rhubarb is the summer drink. Sure isn't. <laughs> I mean, it is. What yeah. do you mean it's not? <laughs> it's not. Of it's, it is. it's just not for tea. me. It's just not for me. What is no? I'm way. just saying the season. Yeah, we have absolutely. two different seasons. Yes. We've so got yeah, that <laughs> sweet. We have, we have, we have, we have we've summer the, and fall. We've You're got correct. the summer and fall. The fucking motherfucker! I <laughs> wow. Why well, you gotta go after my brand like that, dog? Just try to call me a motherfucker, man. <laughs> Well, I know your mother, by the way, and that's horrible. But you even say that, God, my mother has been she has been she has been on the phone with Sony Tech Support, oh, trying to get her television and her camera and all these other things figured out. And they had her they had her restart everything, unplug everything, plug it back in, restart, and then she calls them for a specific instance, and she says. Um, the the sound bar is not working anymore. It's not on. I don't understand what's happened. And oh, he's like, "Well, you 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 did unplug it and then plug it back in. Did you turn it on? <gasps> oh no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that she was principal of a high school for twenty years just amazes me, dude. I, you know what? I'm 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 not gonna make fun of her because I I swear I did the same thing with uh, my Wi-Fi router one time. Okay, what'd you do? I, I forgot to turn it back on. Like I literally, <laughs> I was on tech support, and, and the worst part, I I was so mad and. and and, and, and at the borderline of sounding horrible, but it was like the dude comes on and he, he clearly from India, and he's like, "Hello, thank you for calling Dell." Blah, Hello, blah, thank blah. you for coming, Dell. This is it's, Jonathan. It was Steve. Yeah, I'm like, dude. I, and at this point, I was so pissed off because shit wasn't working. I was like, first of all, I want to say, dude, your name is not Steve, and for second. <laughs> Like this is the problem, but I didn't do that. I was very cordial, but I was man, I was I was heated. But yes, and the worst part is, he's like, "Well, sir, did you turn it back on?" And I'm like, "Fuck." <laughs> 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 so that, I I I have to say I. I, I I've I've been down Mindy's road once go. once you, before. You, you share Alrighty. you share the pain. <laughs> I, I do share the pain. So, all right, Scott, are we going to rate these? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go first. There is no question on <laughs> There's him. One hundred percent. I'm going to take Schmalo <laughs> bourbon bourbon s'more. s'more over watermelon rhubarb crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Both will make you crawl. I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. the, the watermelon crawl is going to make people just like wish they probably had a different birthday and everything else. Because I'm going to tell you right now, that thing hits for sure. It, I, I'm not complaining about the, but dude, that is way too much watermelon for me. I, I don't do fake watermelon. I'm sorry, Barbara. I love you, but the <laughs> fake watermelon is not my cup of tea. Not a problem. Nick. Um, I'm going with, uh, just because the 
rhubarb came out more watermelony than rhubarb this, this time, time around. Did. I think we're gonna have to retool it a little bit. I do too. But um, but yeah, no. The uh, I think y'all were drunk the first time y'all did this shit, and y'all just didn't know it was all. No, watermelon. it was actually I think the second or third. Yeah, it was drink. only about the second drink. Sure, <laughs> whatever, did. whatever helps you feel better about yourself. <laughs> it does. It does, Scott. <laughs> Uh, but no, the um, <coughs> s'more and then the uh, rhubarb. But I right. hope to retool this uh, rhubarb one later. I'll let Barbara go last because these are her babies. But I will also agree with Scott and Nick on this yeah. one. All right. S'more first, rhubarb second. For this round, I agree as well. I mean, I really liked it when I originally made and it. And that's our there episode of Bourbon Barrel Talk. <laughs> <laughs> God, oh, no. <laughs> how rude! <laughs> All right, sorry. Go, go ahead, Barb. Finish your finish your thought. My thought was I agreed. The first time that I made this, it did it did hit a little bit differently. I'm not sure what we did differently. Um, so I'm gonna have to tweak it a little bit better to get more of that rhubarb. Um, but I'm gonna go s'more and I, then the rhubarb. I'll be honest with you. It's probably not. You probably didn't mess up the front ratios. It's probably the topping it off of ginger ale. You probably had more ginger ale the That's first time. I'm, that's what I'm wondering. I'm almost betting a dime to a dollar. That's what it is. Because that's it would really, wondering. really pull down on that. That mm-hmm. watermelon. But that being said, mm-hmm. uh, I didn't hate the watermelon. But it's just, wa- to me, fake it's watermelon. It's not your it's, thing. It, it, I, I told you, fake watermelon is not my thing. Yep. And fake sugar is not my thing. Like, yep. I'm a fat boy for a reason. Like, there's no <laughs> doubt in my mind. That you like I'm the authenticity. A, absolutely. I'm, <laughs> com- I'm, I'm 100% authentic. authentic. <laughs> <laughs> there's no doubt about it. Like, I'm fat for a reason, and, and, and I'm okay with that. All right. So that's our episode of Bourbon Barrel Talk, Craft Cocktails with Barbara. If you want to find us, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or the Twitter. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so that way you can get us as soon as those episodes are dropped, whether it's on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Pandora. You, you pick your medium. We, we are there. Um, if you want to email us a question, email it to bourbonbarreltalk at gmail.com. This is Scott, Johnny, Tsunami, Barbara, Babs, and Nick signing off. Peace. Peace out. Subscribe. Good night.